So now that everybody's got kind of the fundamentals of their stance and they know, okay, for me, my foot is six inches off the side of my left, I'm a little further out. Everybody's got a little different stance, okay? And you'll cultivate and use different stances. There's no one way. There's all kinds of ways. And situation always dictates. Terrain always dictates. Okay? This is just a guideline of practice. I want to make sure everybody understands that. This is a frame of practice from which we can grow from. So once we understand okay, how we can stand, we need to understand better how we can move. So the next exercise is going to be moving forward to the side and then backwards, holding the frame in our stance, keeping all of it integrated. So all I want to do to practice, no punching yet, is just learn how to slide, how to power off that back foot and start moving forward. I don't want my head bouncing up and down. I don't want this kind of motion. I want to come straight in, integrated with my power. It's more like I'm coming from here. This is moving forward. My, the rest of my body is following. So when I'm going forward, I'm moving this way. If I want to move to the left, my left foot is forward, I move that foot first. Especially when we're dealing with the line of attack. We're looking at, come on, Rob. I'm looking at this combative situation. Now, if I'm bigger, stronger, faster, I can stay on this line of attack ah, and duke it out. Go ahead and switch stance because I'm moving this way. I want to show something on this side. So, uh, and the reason I asked him to switch is I would never move to the open side, and we'll get to that too. But one of the things I want to begin to look at is how I can get off this line of attack and begin to triangulate on him. I want to flank him as opposed to standing on this line of attack where bigger, stronger, faster, most arts, most sporting arts are dealing with everything on this line of attack. Boxing, I just stay here. I might get into some counter punching and whatnot. Arts explore it. I want to make sure that we understand it very well. So once I understand how to move forward, I also want to start to understand how I can start moving side to side. The very first thing that has to go is this front foot. If I want to go the direction of the front foot, it moves first. The other foot follows. It goes first. The other foot follows. When I move this foot, I don't turn my toe past him. If I turn my toe past him and begin to strike, I might be able to knock him out. Once you understand how to create this whip and this power with your strikes, you can manipulate. You can get a lot of power out of this. But I don't have all my power. I would rather strike him with my toe facing him and give him all my power. I just don't know what I'm dealing with. If my toe is off, I can think about pushing a car. Brian's my car. I point my toes here. I put my hands on him. My toes are pointed 45 degrees the other way, and I begin to push. Stand strong. What, look what happens. Stand strong. Push me back. Push me back. What happens? Because my toes are oriented this way and I push him, I end up being pushed. If my toes are oriented on him and I push, all my power is behind him, he can't stop me. It's just a matter of biomechanics, physics. If I want to push a car, I don't turn my feet this way and push. You naturally will walk up to a car and push. Your toes will be oriented the direction you want to go, and that's what you want to do. Something as simple as that means a lot when you're on the street and we're talking about survival. So if I want to move the direction of the lead foot, the toe turns, it's immediately addressing his center line. I bring the other foot with me. as opposed to staying here. If I want to move right, my left foot is forward. My right moves. Then I drag the left. And I reorient back to the line of attack. The line of attack is always enemy. 
right, left. Same thing if my right is forward, I want to move right, it's going first, I drag left. I never, ever, ever cross my feet. If I want to go right, I never cross and switch in anything. There's no art out there that would teach you. Hey, I don't want to say that. It's out there somewhere, I guarantee it. Standard stuff. Forward, backward. If I'm moving backward, where's the power coming from now? Front leg. So there has to be an equal power in both of these legs. Both of them are coiled in, 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 in like springs. I can move forward. I can move backward. I can move left. I can move to the right. I can move all four directions equally with a frame integrated. Okay? Practice.